Now what's up everybody? This is part two tower setup video. In part one, we went over the hardware side. Now we're gonna go over the software side so that you guys can start streaming and recording gameplay video. Let's go. Okay, so now that we switch screens, um, you wanna click the link that's in the description. Once you click that link, it's gonna take you to the product page on Abram Media's website. This is the product page for the Live Camera Ultra, the GC553. And uh, on this page, just, just a little bit more information about the product. All right, here under compatibility test tool, this is pretty cool. Um, if you click on this and you download this and you run this on your computer, it's basically gonna let you know if your computer can, um, um, it's optimized with the product. So if, uh, if you're not sure if you have the right specs, um, you can just download this and you run it. And it'll basically tell you like, hey, you can or can't use this product. And it might refer you to one that you can use based off of your processor and your MacBook. Um, scroll down some more and it just shows you how, you know, how easy it is to set it up. Uh, it's very simple, free cables. Um, so we're gonna scroll down a little bit further down the page. And then on, on this section right here, this is the specification. Um, this is, if you're familiar with your processor, then you can read through this and you know that um, your processor is, is uh, good enough to run this, this product. Um, and it shows you basically what you can record at as far as what processor you have. So if you know more about your computer then you wouldn't need to download the compatibility test tool, you can just scroll further down and read more to know about the requirements for your computer to run what quality. Um, so as you scroll down some more, we're gonna get down here to the download page. Once you're on the download page, you wanna click application. And once you click application, you wanna scroll down until you find Recentral Express right here. So the Recentral Express is the Mac OS version and um, just Recentral without the Express is for Windows right here, it says Windows. So what we wanna do is we wanna download the Recentral Express. So at the time of recording this video, this is the latest um, version of this of this software, the latest update. This update was released 7-13-22. So whenever you're watching this video, just look for the latest um, update. That way you have the most up-to-date version of Recentral Express. And then uh, you go over here to the right, you wanna click download. It's gonna download the file. You open the file up. Once you open the file up, it's gonna take you over to um, this app right here. This is your uh, capture UI. Um, if you wanna just record gameplay, right now I have MW2 in the background, or if you wanna stream, you would do it using this app right here. This is um, basically just like OBS, but just a very um, simple version. Uh, it's not really much you can do as far as streaming and recording now i'll explain all of that as we walk through so once you um open up the app for the first time um it's gonna it didn't prompt me because i already have it downloaded but it's gonna prompt you to do a system performance test and what this is is um, it will run your computer and then based off of your processor Percentual is going to give you optimal recording settings. So like if your computer is really good, like mine has all green, then you might get the optimal settings for like 4K or for 440 or maybe 1080. It all really depends on your computer. It is just basically give you what they recommend that you should either record at um, or stream at, but you can always change it. Um, so once you get done running that, then it's gonna take you over um, to this main screen right here. So you have capture mode, you have two different type of capture modes. So single capture mode is for just recording gameplay. If you wanna just record some Call of Duty videos or whatever game you wanna play, then you, you, would, you would do that using the single um, capture mode set, section, which is right here. It's very easy, very simple. On the right side, the red button right here, you have record. You just click it, it'll start recording. Um, over here, you have your quality settings. So once you run the system performance test, it's gonna be under optimal automatic, which is fine, because we can always make a new one. 
So let's say for example, my optimal said that I should run 1080p at 60 frames per second. So let's say I'm playing Call of Duty at 4K and I wanna, I wanna run it 4K 60 frames. So what you do is you click the plus sign and then the recording quality, this is the title. Um, you can make it whatever you want. Let's just make it Xbox S just for the video. <laughs> um, your file type, you wanna make sure that it's MP4. Um, your resolution, we're gonna set this to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. Video bit rate, we can leave at 60 megabits per second. And refresh rate, we can boost this up to 60 if we wanted to or you can leave it at 30. 30 and a 60, as far as recording, um, it really wouldn't have a difference, um, but just put it at 60 if you're recording, or I'm sorry, if you're playing your game at 4K 60, then you make sure this is matches, this matches up with whatever quality settings you have on your console. So right now I'm actually in 1440, but for the, for the sake of the video, <laughs> we're gonna make it at 4K. Um, audio bit rate. We can leave this at two, um, 256 kilobits per second. H.264 profile, we can leave this at main. Then your keyframe, you wanna leave at two seconds. And then we hit save. Then you notice that it went from optimal to our new settings that we just created, which is our Xbox S, and then 4K 60 frames per second. Video category, category um, you wanna make sure this says Aver Media. I think it's only gonna say Aver Media, unless you wanna add a new one and you can add a new one. Um, so over here, we have our uh, audio settings. So this main one right here is uh, the audio for the preview. So that's this right here, this is the preview. So if I was to play the game and I turn this up, then you would be able to hear the game through um, your, your MacBook. Uh, underneath that is your microphone. So if you have, a, I have an external microphone right now, I'm using a Blue Yeti. But if you was using your MacBook microphone, um, then it would be your microphone audio level will raise as you talk. Um, right here is mute and everything. This is muting your audio so that you don't have to hear your audio. And then um, once you click this, this gives you a little bit more um, audio settings. So if you had different external devices, then you can play around with the audio levels for each device to make sure that is where you want it to be at. Like if you were like making a live co a live commentary, then you can change up the audio settings. That way, the game volume is not louder than your voice, or vice versa. Um, over here we have uh, the snapshot. This is just a screenshot. So like if I want to take a screenshot of what I'm currently looking at on a game, then you can just click this and it'll take a screenshot pretty quick. Um, and then underneath there you have um, available. So available is uh, how much space or how much. How much, how, many, how much time or as seconds or minutes or hours you have of recording based off of how much space is left on your hard drive. Um, so currently I have six hours of recording footage. CPU is just this percentage of how much um, percentage, percentage is using of your CPU, your RAM, and then what your game is currently under right now. So I can record at 60 frames, fine. Um, as you record, if your computer is not like um, very uh, specced out or have a great processor, um, then you will see that the RAM percentage will spike up because your computer is trying hard to process um, the quality that, that, that you want to record in. So keep that in mind. So um, yeah, that's everything under single. This is just very basic. If you just want to record some gameplay, live commentary, you can do that under single. Now, if you want a Twitch stream, this is different. So when you're Twitch streaming, um, you wanna click on multi. Uh, this is where you set up your stream so that you can either stream on Twitch or on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, whatever platform um, that you wanna stream on, then you can stream on a platform. So capture device um, is your camera. Uh, as of right now, I don't have my camera connected to my computer. so. It just shows me my FaceTime HD camera is uh, the one that's attached to the computer. So you can add your camera if you want to add a camera, um, your different audio settings, you can add text if you want it, um, a picture, video, or screen capture. So this is a very, um, it's very uh, basic, 
it's not much you can do. Um, so you can't really add overlays or you can't change the, um, the shape of your webcam. Uh, you know, you can't have like donations on the screen. There's a lot of things that you just can't do. Uh, this is for somebody that just wants to stream. Um, you know, just very basic. You get to it, you click one button and then you're streaming. If you want to do like more advanced stuff, then OBS will be the, um, the software for you to go to. So um, once you're on here, so this looks a little similar to the single section. You can um, change the recording quality. This recording quality right here though, this is for streaming. So I recommend 1080p of course for streaming, not 4K. Um, and you can always just click the plus and go through the settings and change it the way that you want, just like how we did under the single section. Then if you click the little broadcast icon right here, this is where you set up your streaming platform. So currently I don't have one. Um, if you click the add, then here you go right here. You get to add your Facebook your, uh, or your YouTube, your Facebook or your Twitch. Um, and you can set up that information and then you hit next, set up that information um, and then and then you're good to go. <laughs> the moment you hit stream over here, it's gonna make you live and you're gonna start streaming. It's very, very simple. Um, if we go up to settings, I'll take the settings really quick. So under settings, um, you have under general, you have video save path. And this is where you want to save your videos once you get done recording them. So not like live streaming, but like if you're just recording a gameplay video. You can um, save that file wherever you want to save that file at. And then the same thing for snapshots or screenshots, you can save those files wherever you want to save those files at also. Social network account, you can add your YouTube if you like to add your YouTube. System performance tests, I, we, we went over this earlier in the, uh, the video. The about me section is um, it's kind of important. Uh, make sure you always want to check for updates. There's some times that the app may get buggy um, and then Central will put out an update for it. So make sure you check for updates to have the latest software. That way that it can just run, you know, very um, smooth. Then over here, the folder, um, whenever you get done recording a video, then uh, that video will show up under this folder section right here. It'll have all your different videos under the folder section. You can change the name if you like, you can rewatch them. Um, delete them. You can edit the video a little bit if you want to edit the video um, with the editor down here. Um, it's very simple. <laughs> There's not really much you can do here. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Like, this is very, very simple. Um, I actually hope you guys enjoyed this. I will make another video um, actually setting up this, 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 the Twitch stream and um, going through and showing you different overlays and things that you can do and things that you can't do comparing it to OBS because it's very different than OBS um, but if you just want to get on plug in a couple chords and start streaming or start recording then this is the software for you so I hope you guys enjoy this video and then I will see you guys later thank you bye